Okay, so today I um, started doing a fast and I started doing um, the Hindu version of a fast which is very strict and so basically um, you can't eat or drink anything at all, no, not even water, you can't take a shower, you can't Technically, you're supposed to spit out your own spit because then you're technically swallowing something. Um, I didn't do that. Didn't take it that extreme, but it's very strict. So you're not supposed to, um, yeah, you're not supposed to shower just in case, you know, you ingest water. Um, you're not supposed to brush your teeth. So you're supposed to do all those things before 6 a.m. And then you can eat white rice, specifically white rice, because it represents purity. Um, you can eat that. So my host brought me a nice big bowl of white rice at 5.30 a.m. Um, and so yeah, I was able to eat that, but then we fasted 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we were meditating. Um, let's see if I can put this down and make it easier. So, and then we were meditating um, from 6 a.m. every two hours until 6 p.m. So, that was my day. It was a struggle. I was craving a lot of things, mostly pizza, but it is good for kind of working on, you know, self-discipline. He says he does it also to be able to really empathize with people when he sees them um, on the street. You know, people who are hungry and thirsty, like, I guess that's a big purpose of them doing it as well, is that now they can actually really empathize and um, feel what these people are feeling. So, yeah. Um, and then I found a six-petaled flower and this nice Balinese lady that I met the other day she was she actually has been living in Germany for the past long time like 20 years or something but um, she is from here and so she just kind of visits and she was saying telling me that if you find one of these flowers with four petals or six petals because it's normally always five then that means good luck and today, I found this on the ground, this little gem, and I checked, just like looked around to see how exactly how rare it is, and I sure enough didn't see any other ones anywhere on the resort. Um, they all had five petals. I probably looked like a crazy person looking at the flowers on the ground to the people who work here, but um, yeah, I was curious, and they all had five or yeah, five petals. So I guess it's lucky. And what my host told me when I showed him. He said that I have to put my mind into the flower, put what it is that I want, put what it is that I want manifested, um, and I put my energy into the flower, that energy, and then I eat the flower. So I cleaned it, and now I'm about to eat this flower. <laughs> Never never thought I would say that in a sentence, but yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do that off camera, <laughs> just in case I like throw up. I don't know, I don't know how a flower tastes. Um, I'm just, this is all so interesting and new for me. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever eaten a flower, but um, yeah, comment your thoughts. Um, opinions on this. It's been so, so interesting, all the things I've been learning. Um, so, anyways, that's it for now, guys. The mosquitoes are feasting on me, so I need to oh, divert my attention. And also, I have food, and I am so ready to drink some coffee and eat some food. I'll see you guys later.